Let's do this one now. That's a wild looking machine, huh? Look at this. With all these valves, it kind of screws down. It's a wild looking thing. What the heck is this? Made in Italy, Signor Cappuccino. So that's it. That thing is pretty wild. This is one of my other electric machines. And uh, it kind of goes like this. It kind of works like those mocha pots or Bellmans and that type of thing. It works with one of these with a skinny. There's some of these I'll show you when I do some other machines. I have a thick one, but yeah, check that out. So <laughs> I guess we'll try this one out too. It looks pretty cool. So we'll just fill this up. They have a little one for a single cappuccino and a big one for a big papa's. We've always made the big pot before, so I guess we'll do it again. Let's we'll see how this goes. I don't have a full pot of water, but pretty much. Let's get a little more water here, just for a second. Okay. I think what we'll do is we'll bring this right up just below the uh, pressure relief valve. So that should be pretty good. And maybe I got this thing. Hey, I got a big thing of coffee right here. So let's just... It's the same grind I use for espresso and everything. I'm getting a little messy. That's all right. See if Uta catches me later. Anyway. I don't know how hard, you know, I haven't used it. I did use this one like eight years ago. I used to use it once in a while, but I think we'll go like that. I'll get some coffee in there. I'm not going to tamp it hard. We'll see what happens. I think we'll make a full pot. That won't be too much. Yeah, it looks good, huh? So that goes in. That's the little O-ring. Then you got your handy dandy and it has the siphon and I think all these valves will still work. And that baby goes on there. And then the big power arm comes around, kind of fits in. A lot of people have had these. And then that thing screws in. It's pretty wild. <laughs> it's a pretty neat contraption. The base is a little plain, but let's tweak this baby down, I guess. We got a good seal. I think this little lid comes off there. Um, it's a little stiff, but they're all running still. We'll open this one just for safety. Yeah, the little switch comes on. Let's spin it before it gets hot. I think the switch is over there. Light, Signor Cappuccino. There we go. We'll see if it works. It may or may not, but. We'll steam some milk. We got some of that ready to go. Then we got that open. We'll see if it, we'll see if it actually works anymore. <laughs> Anyhow, so that's going. And then our boiler, I tighten these down really good. And this one too. So I tweaked those pretty good down um, with the new gaskets. We'll see if they wouldn't move. You know, I just used a ratchet so I went out on the workbench and just put these slots because it had a little slot in it. Just tweak that down with this baby really hard. And then that one wasn't too bad because you had some room. This was a little harder because you don't have much room there. But I realized if you have a lot of, I forget what those are officially called. I'm sure someone knows. You have a lot of clicks. You can kind of work it down and... That's what I did with both, and then this one I used the swivel and a um, extension, and we got the T on. And sometimes I use the smaller ratchet because you can get in to tighter places, and sometimes with an adapter just in case I need the bigger um, thing. But so that's good. So that's our making way on that. We, I think I'm just going to order a base, but that's pretty good. So pretty soon that baby's going to come up. So we got that done. And then we can look at some baskets. There's a lot of sizes of baskets that you can get with this being the littlest. I've never, maybe I probably have made a single with this once or twice. If you're gonna make something really small, but most, I doubt many people ever use those. What else do we got here? There we are. And then of course we have the, 
this is what would have been the large basket at one time. And then these are the, hey, okay, those are fancy. So these are very similar. This one's maybe just a tiny bit bigger. And um, they all work good. And then we, I also like to use the electric basket. So let me get, let me get one of those. Let's see. That's warming up. Okay, I like to have a lot of baskets because you can keep making coffees and they're hot. You can dump them, make different sizes. But I also like to use this right here, which is the biggest one, which is the Electra basket. You can see it's um, quite a bit bigger. Now, any of these will go in a bottomless and work really good, like this type with the straight bottom edge. Cafe Lot. This is nice. Skateboard Creation. The originator. A lot of people copied him over the years, but he was the originator. Recycled skateboards. And then this is a nice one too. But see how it has a little rounded bottom edge? The problem with the Electra basket and these is it sits too close. And then the, the coffee tends to come up and and go. But with the, uh, um, you know, the La Pavone one, this is a dream one two it works really good you just can't use a super big basket because it fits too close but that's really nice and then you have your standard baskets this is one you know the bottoms are removed pretty clean it's an old style with the little handle a lot of people like this these will use the electra too it fits in there and you won't get any and that'll fit that big basket and the other ones and then this is the same thing it just still has the double spout and i know everyone thinks with the double but really it just comes through that hole so it's kind of random it's just i don't think it really means it's unlevel and sometimes you get a good flow sometimes not but it's not that dramatic but these two will take the electra and they'll take any of the baskets so some some of them get a little different a little funny but they all work good, but this is the only one you really can't use the electric basket well in. So that's just what's going on with those, which is pretty darn cool. And so I do like to have a lot of baskets. Anyway, I just collected these over the years. They've come with machines. And um, yeah, there's just nice to have because if you want to make, if you only have one porta filter or one machine, it's easier to release that hot thing onto something and get a cool basket, put it in, refill it, and go. And you're pretty good. And if you have a couple port of filters, you can even do that. And if you have two machines, you don't have to worry about anything. Anyway, how's this baby doing? Let's see if I burn myself, huh? Yeah, it's heating up. We're going to see if any coffee comes out of that sooner or later. But So that's all the stuff going on, and we're looking forward to this machine. And... Yeah, I'm using the skateboard creation today because well, that hero skateboarder, he saved a lot of people. He went up against one of those crazy militia guys with one of their automatic weapons with just a skateboard. Stopped him from shooting a lot more people. But anyway, he sacrificed himself for everybody. That skateboard is for you. They're pretty cool. I skateboarded since 1968. That's one of the original OS, original skaters. Southern California before the, um, oh, there we go, before any money was involved. You know, it used to, we wouldn't want anyone to know where we skate or any fame. That was the original skateboarders, but then now it's all business. But anyway, look, there we go. We got some drips going. So that's pretty darn cool. So this baby is working. Let's go ahead and stop that. For a minute, we'll build up just a tiny bit of pressure and um, I'll step over. Let's see if this baby will steam some milk. I believe it will, but let's just see if there's enough yet. We're not. Yeah, not quite enough pressure yet. Then we'll let that build a little more pressure up here before we go. Let's see how the coffee comes out. Yeah, look at that. And you know, if you make this with a slow drip, that probably makes some pretty good espressos. You could just fill cup to cup with that. That's why these work out a lot. You got to kind of get the feeling. Some of the newer ones, like the Bellman, have a gauge, which probably helps on those because um, the stovetop ones, especially because you're kind of doing it ad lib. And we're going to do a whole stove stuff. I got a lot of stovetops. Those will be really fun. But then we got the La Pavone going. So we made good head. Those are tightened down. Uh, once we get the base, it'll just fire out. So we have everything possible. And um, it's going to be pretty cool, and we're going to redo the white base, too. 
I'd like something really bright for that bass. You know, if you've ever read like a Philip K. Dick book or any of those where somebody gets that beam of light with the, all the knowledge in it. It's so bright, it's almost pink. It's just a little laser beam. It's kind of in mythology, but that's always cool. I always wanted to do that color. Let's see how we're doing on pressure here. We're doing pretty good. So we'll build up a little more and we'll keep it going and um, we'll see how it goes. It, it should be pretty cool, anyhow. Because they are kind of like a steam engine. Oh, that's kind of blowing. Look, there's a little crane in there too. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's fun. You got a little novel. Feels like you're running the big science thing. So I, I kind of like these because of all the pipes. It looks more complicated than it is and seems to seal pretty well there. And, uh, you know, this is old. I'm not sure of the date, but these have been running a long time and they still keep going. Not too many things do that. But so let's give it another. Uh, Milk Stevie try. Let's just see if this will go. Yes. Yeah. All right, we did some pretty good. Almost got to 140. It steams pretty good. I think you probably want to build up even more pressure. So we're going to let it build back up. Let's see how the coffee's going. Oh, look at that. Pretty nice. So we'll just let that flow now. So it goes nice and slow and. It'll make us a nice pot of coffee. It's a pretty amazing little machine, these little Italian ones. They work pretty darn good, I do gotta say. And once you fiddle with them, you probably can really get some performance out of it. Build up some pressure and, you know, go back and forth, so. We'll build up a little more. I think on these machines, you want to build up a good head of pressure first. And, um... And then you do pretty good. It went a little more pressure for the steaming of the milk, but um, that's all right. It's our first run with this in a long time, and, and uh, we just got to see how it runs. These valves still work after all these years. I never disassembled and got them going, but um, oh, look at that. You get a little bit of, it's not a bad little flow. So it's coming up through that coffee and pushing up through it, so it's kind of like a mocha pot and things like that, but um, not exactly. Well, kind of. So it comes up. I think anything like that's espresso either down or up, whatever way it goes, it's all, it's all good. So we get some pressure, so that's pretty good. And uh, that looks pretty dark, but let's go ahead and um, we'll make up a little espresso with it. So I'm gonna switch this baby off. And we did pretty good. Baby. I don't think, no, that, this isn't heated like a hot pad or anything, so it looks pretty good, nice and dark. And look, if you really did a pot, you could have a little lid. Whoa, <laughs> you could have a little lid on it, right? That still fits under there. And let's just go ahead and see how our cappuccino cream came out. Pretty good. I'll give it a good look. So there we are. We did it again. Another pretty nice cappuccino or more. Well, that's not bad either. So maybe not a full lot of only, but that's pretty damn good. I think it's better than the A.A. Milano. Wow. Excellent. So once again, now I have a couple lattes still left. We have this one, and um, yeah, that's it for today. So we got this going. We're going to get our stuff in the mail. Lot of only will live. We saw about all the baskets and the different type of ones. And, you know, I like a lot of baskets. I'm a little crazy. But I keep a whole pack ready because I switch around a lot. And I make a lot of lattes and espresso. So, yep. Next time we're going to have another secret contest on the next show. Um, yeah, the DJ won and he got his coffee and his nice little Vietnamese coffee maker and yeah, I'll have fun with that, and he can win another contest, too. So whoever is attentive, right, <laughs> you can win.